am out in the garden and I'm going to be transplanting my leeks and probably some shallots. These are the leeks and shallots that I started from seed back in January. I think it was January 18 I started them from seed. So they've been growing inside for a couple of months and I've also been hardening them off throughout the last month or so and bringing them out on nice days. And if it doesn't go below freezing, I've been keeping them outside so they can get accustomed to both the sun and the cooler temperatures. We're still about a month before our estimated last frost date, but these plants should be fine. And I waited until we had about a week of really nice weather coming up. So I saw in the forecast for the next week, I don't think we're getting any nights below freezing. So it's gonna be a really nice, gentle way for these seedlings to get accustomed to kind of transition into the garden. So I think now is a perfect time to be getting them in. First off, before I get to the planting, I'm gonna have to separate out my seedlings. So let me go show you that process first. So here's what my seedlings look like right now. These are the shallots over here, and then these are the two types of leeks that I have, the King Richard and Giant Musselberg, I think it's called. And this is what they look like, a closer look. I've noticed my leeks are not quite as thick as my onion seedlings are. Here are my onions. And these have gotten a little bit thicker. I think it's because they're in a slightly more shallow container, so it's gonna be really nice to get them out because then they will have more nutrients to grow more. So what I'm gonna do is take each section of leeks out first and then I'm going to separate out the individual leeks and then hopefully get kind of like an estimate of how many of each variety I have. So I had just put like a little divider in there when I sowed these seeds and I'm gonna try and get out one section at a time. So I've gotten out this section of leeks and you can see I've already separated out a few of them and here's what they look like with the roots. They're not like super thick seedlings but they're going to be just fine. The roots are really nice and thick and they don't tangle much which makes them very easy to separate. So I'm just going to go through and kind of tease them apart one at a time, gently pulling, trying not to break any of those roots too much but it's pretty easy to do even though I like really crowded my seeds when I sowed them they're very easy to separate out and it's really easiest to do this when your soil is dry so I have held off on watering yesterday I think the last time I watered was two days ago so the soil is fairly dry and this helps for the soil to just like fall away when you're working with it instead of clumping all together and that makes it easier to separate out these seedlings. So I'm going to keep separating out each of these and then I'm going to give them a count, see how many seedlings I have. Then I can kind of like plan out my space and see how many plants I have to work with. I think I did end up with more seedlings than I have space for so what I might do is kind of multi-sow my leeks and plant multiple leeks in each hole. That will help me to use up more of my seedlings and they should grow pretty well in clusters because leeks grow like more vertically than round. All right, so I ended up with 104 seedlings of just this one variety, which is definitely more than I'm going to need. And when I was counting through them, I also sorted them. If I found any like really small ones, I just set them off to the side because I know I'm gonna have extras. I'm gonna make sure I go through these bigger, stronger seedlings first. And I probably won't need to go to these smaller ones, but I wanna make sure I plant the big ones first. And then any extras I have, I can just give away if like a neighbor wants them or something. But here's what they look like with their nice roots. They were very easy to separate out and like barely any soil sticks to them. And that's just why I love growing leeks and onions from seed because it's just so easy. You get so many seedlings in such a small amount of space. It was just like this tiny section of this container. They're very easy to take care of and you just end up with so many plants. 
for such a small space and money investment. So now I'm gonna go show you how I plant these in my bed and how I prep the bed and everything like that. Okay, so I'm at one of my raised beds now and I have already amended this area with some composted manure and I just laid that on top of this bed. But onions and leeks are pretty heavy feeders and they need a lot of nutrition. So I'm also going to be adding some extra granular fertilizer and this is what I'm going to be using, this garden tone. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on top and kind of like mix it up into the soil just a little bit. And my soil is pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and water it first, and that's gonna help us a bit when we're planting. And I'm only going to be using half of this bed here. The other half I have an arched trellis. So I'll be using that space for climbing plants. So I'm just gonna have to fit as many plants as I can into this half of the bed. Okay, so now the bed is all prepped in terms of amendments. And the way that I plant leeks is a little different from how I plant onions. I'm going to be using this little dibber tool and it's gonna help me to just make like a deep hole like that where I can plant my seedlings into. And I probably want to space these about three inches apart. And I think I'm going to do two or three leaks in each of these holes. So let me go ahead and make all of these little holes and then we can add our seedlings in. The reason it's good to plant leek seedlings like this is because any part of the plant that is underneath the soil is going to stay really nice and white and usually that's the part of the leek you want to eat because the white and light green parts are the most tender and less fibrous. So the longer you can get that part to be, the more of the leek you get to enjoy. And the way you do that is by keeping that bottom part of the leek underneath the soil because the soil will protect it from the sunlight and it's going to stay a nice white and light green color. So the deeper you can plant your leeks, the longer section of white you're going to have in your leek. Okay, so I've just added all of my little holes for my leeks. I ended up with 36. So if I do at least two leeks in each hole, I'll be able to use 72, but then maybe some of them I'll do three leeks per hole. So I'll be able to use close to all of the ones that I started actually, I think. And this tool definitely was helpful. This was a little dibble tool. I actually got this at Target, but I'm not sure if they sell it all the time. It might just be a seasonal thing. So I'll try and find one that I can link in the description box. I used to just use like you know, a pen or like something else like that that I can just poke into the ground, but the pointed end really helps. And I like that it flares also so that I can get the opening to be a little wider because that's gonna make it easier for me to get my leaks in. So definitely a great new tool that was very helpful for this job. And now what I'm going to do is just take a couple of my leak seedlings. So for this one, let's say I do two, I'm just gonna Plop them in the hole, maybe use my tool to like get the roots to be closer to the bottom. And that is it. I'm not going to cover these seedlings in at all. It's kind of hard to show you inside, but the little leaf seedlings are in there and they're just gonna stay like this. There's a little bit poking out here and the leaves should still be able to get sun. And after I'm done planting all of these, I'm going to water this in and every time you water these seedlings a little bit more of the soil is going to kind of wash some of this soil and help to cover in the roots little by little and over time you will gradually be covering up the leek seedling as it grows.
and that's all there is to it. I've been planting my leeks like this for a couple years and it does really help to get a really nice long white and light green area of the leek. So yeah, I would really recommend trying out this method if you haven't seen it or tried it before. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my leeks. So here is what the bed looks like all planted. I know that you can't really see it because it's really sunny. I'm gonna have to try and get a shot of this when the sun has gone down so you can see it a little better. But here is what it looks like with just that tiny little por portion of the leek sticking out. The rest is in the hole. I'm gonna water this in to kind of settle the soil in over the roots. And I do have another variety of leek that I want to plant also. And those are actually going to go in the bed right across from this one. Kind of like the same amount of area, also like a three foot by three foot area. But it is lunchtime right now, so I'm going to go take a lunch break. And then we're going to come back and finish off those leeks. All right, we're back from lunch. And now I'm going to separate my other variety of leeks here. Here's what the leeks look like compared to the shallots here. I ended up with 72 of this variety of leeks and I only have a couple that were small. The rest of them look really good. So I'll be planting about the same number as I did of the other variety. So now I have to go prep my bed and get these planted. The first leeks that I planted before lunch are in this bed here and I'm just going to plant the other ones in the bed directly opposite and it's going to be about the same amount of space. I'm going to be doing like half of the bed up to where I have an arch trellis here. I do have a dahlia plant that's somewhere around this area. And I think the past two years it did winter over. So I'm just gonna avoid this little area here for that dahlia to come back up and then just fill in the rest of the bed up to the halfway point. So again, I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of my garden tone fertilizer and then making the holes for my leeks.
So my leeks are all planted and I didn't actually get to the shallots, but I'm gonna call it a day. The shallots are just gonna have to be planted another day. The process for separating those is the same as for the leeks. I'll just do that when the soil is nice and dry and separate them out. But the shallots do not have to be planted deeply like the leeks do. So you just cover right above where the roots are. Same thing with onions, just cover them a little bit. Leeks are the only ones that you have to plant really deep like that because leeks are the longer ones that you wanna grow with that long white area. And I might not show planting onions this year because my family's going to be in town for the next week so I'll probably just plant that while they're here and I'm not going to be filming it but I did film a video last year about planting my onions so you can check that out if you want to but all the shallots and onions are also going to be transplanted in the next week or so so that's really exciting to have lots of things going to the garden so that's going to be it for this video I hope you enjoy seeing the process of planting my leeks today thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next one